communication trap number one. The way this trap works, and, I, and this is how I explain it to the couples that come to see me, is that it's, it's, if you can imagine a person who is allergic to strawberries, and maybe they don't know it, but they go to a picnic and everybody at the picnic has strawberry shortcake. And everybody raves about how great the strawberries are and how fresh they are. And including this person, until they start breaking out in hives. And what would you think if they suddenly concluded, or concluded from getting sick, that there must be something wrong with those strawberries? Even though the person on their left is fine, the person on their right is fine, the three people across from them at the picnic table, everybody's fine after eating the strawberries, and yet this person wants to blame the strawberries. And what they're missing is that they had a reaction they carry with them. They had an allergy. They had a, a predisposition to react to something that is no reflection on the strawberry. And that's what people do in their relationships, but when you're alone with your mate, you do not have you don't have the advantage of somebody to your left, somebody to your right, who isn't getting upset by what your mate does. And it just seems like common sense that if I'm upset right now, and she just said something mean, then I'm upset because of what she said. Or maybe I'm upset because he or she came home late, or maybe I'm upset because they spent too much money. Whatever I'm upset about, if it's in response to what they did, it may not be obvious that most of my upset is like the allergy um, of the person with the, the allergy to strawberries, that I brought, um, I brought a predisposition to react to the situation, and that's, that is accounting for more of my emotional upset than anything else. For The idea would be that some of us are kind of allergic to anger. If our spouse gets angry, we get very upset. Others are allergic to intimacy. We might be allergic to dependency, rejection, uh, vulnerability. Some of us are allergic to affection. We don't even know it, but when somebody is too affectionate, we get anxious and we may even start acting angry. Um, many people are allergic to not being in control. The point is these are not physical a a allergies. These are uh, reactions that we carry, reactions that we had before we ever met our spouse and if we're going to start communicating constructively, we need to remember and understand that blaming our mate for our feelings is inherently self-defeating and that um, we, ha we have to own our own, take ownership of our own reactions even if we don't know what our allergy is. We have to take ownership of our own reactions uh, in order to communicate constructively with our partner when something they do or doesn't do, don't do, bothers us. And that's what I try to establish with couples when we first start working together and we constantly refer back to it and sometimes one of them and sometimes myself, one of us will refer to, uh-oh, somebody's blaming the strawberry. So that's a brief introduction to my approach to couples therapy. Thank you.